Denver 8 TV, your city, your source. Partial funding for this season of the Denver Loft Sessions is provided by Venture Technologies, your local technology solutions provider. Visit them online at ventech.com. on the Denver Law Sessions, right here, right now.
My name is Jason Justice, originally from Norman, Oklahoma, and I'm the sax player and vocalist. My name is Chris Harris, I'm from Fort Wayne, Indiana, and I play electric bass guitar. I'm Chris Beers, uh, I play drums, and I'm from Louisville, Colorado. My name is Chris Anton, I'm from Westfield, Massachusetts, and I play guitar. My name is Andrea Merida, I'm from the west side here in Denver, Colorado, and I'm the band manager and do some backup vocals. The gambler, Kenny Rogers, was always playing in our house. Um, my first concert was Ozzy Osbourne with Motley Crue opening up. A little bit of a difference between the two. Um, yeah, I think that would, those are my firsts. Well, I'm pretty sure my parents were really into music. They took me to some live concerts back in the day. And uh, might actually have been a Neil Diamond concert, which, uh, you know, is uh, prime material, I'm sure. <laughs> My father had very eclectic music tastes, and so we grew up listening to Marvin Gaye and, all, you know, a lot of the, the, the R&B and soul experience that was uh, very popular at that time. That would be my elementary music school teacher in Tulsa, Oklahoma, from kindergarten to the third grade. He, um, uh, this was back in the early 70s. Tulsa had just been desegregated, right? And the school system in 1971, believe it or not. And this, this man, he was an African-American gentleman. He played piano in, in the black church in Tulsa, played with uh, Mahalia Jackson and, and all these other people. And he just instilled that when he played the piano and that gospel sound came out, there was something about it that just grabbed a hold of me. And that, that was it. I think it was, it was a, an amazing experience, amazing experience. My very first experience that I remember was when my father took me to church and I uh, was sitting in the pews and uh, I heard this, this sound, right? So I looked to the left, and I looked to the right, I looked behind me, I looked in front of me and people were patting their foot. So I looked underneath the bench to see if everybody was patting their feet and everybody's patting their feet in harmony. Then I've heard this organ sound. I was like, wow, this is really, really cool. Because everybody was doing this unison thing. That was my first awareness of music.
I have no choice. I, I have no choice but to play music. It's um, one of the biggest joys for me is connecting with uh, with folks that come in to see this see the show. I know that sounds trite, but you know, with so much heavy stuff going on, it's just nice to get away and dance and and have a good time. And I and that's really what I wanted the band to be about. I want us. I want people to be able to forget about everything else and come out and just you know and get with the groove because we got it we got a good groove <laughs> I like to get as funky as I can funky go, come on funky funky people in a funky funky Experience the magic of Red Rocks and the spectacular amphitheater that plays host to a wide variety of musical acts, including those performing as part of the Film on the Rocks movie series. From top local performers to national breakouts, most are playing Red Rocks for the very first time. Join us for a rich sampling of their premier performances on Red Rocks Premieres on Denver 8 TV. Is your main mode of transportation around town two wheels rather than four? City Council and the Mayor have made bicycling and pedestrian infrastructure a large budget priority for 2014. The Mayor's Bicycle Advisory Committee meets every month and you can have your say about biking issues in our city at these meetings. Wheel on over to denvergov.org for more information.
has its ebbs and flows, and I think it's uh, becoming a lot more diverse, and there's a lot more opportunity for uh, different types of bands. I'm really excited to see the Latino music scene really coming forward. You know, I'm a big fan of groups like Roca Hueca, um, the Soul Pros, definitely. That's uh, local hip hop um, and ska, that sort of thing. So I, I'm really excited to see um, really the, the the diversity of the scene increasing. Denver music scene is great. Um, a lot of awesome players. Lots of diverse music, tons of venues. Um, I think personally it's a great place to go out and see music. Fans are supportive. Um, and you know, it's great because we get to meet a lot of players around here. Just being out and about and musicians kind of go out and check out other bands and networking and all that. So I think it's a great place to be a musician and be playing music personally. It's getting better, you know. There's a lot going on now, you know. New kids are playing really good, so that, that helps the scene quite a bit because it keeps you know, putting players in the, in, into the, into the pot as the older guys kind of fizzle out, so it's, it's really cool. Well, I hate to throw around the word diverse, but I'm going to do it. Um, uh, there's a lot of great stuff happening right now. Um, in, the, in the Latino community, we've got banda, we have reggaeton, we have all of that, that great stuff, Norteña. And then, um, you know, funk, of course, there's a, there's a great tradition of funk music in this town. Um, and jazz, you know, really, really deep, deep jazz roots in this town. William Shatner, because he's so great. He hasn't been born yet, so it'll be in the distant future, so we're looking forward to that coming out. <laughs> I think there are two versions of this movie, actually. So in one version, it's probably Russell Crowe, 
And in the other version, it's Zach Galifianakis. Salma Hayek, of course. Don't you see the resemblance? I'll say Grace Jones. <laughs> A lot of people see Denver as a sustainability champ, but we're actually lagging behind in our recycling efforts. We recycle less than 14% of the state and national averages. We can boost our recycling rate this year by recycling two more pounds a week, and it's easy to do. If everyone did it, we'd save over 150,000 barrels of oil, over half a million trees, and keep more than 57,000 tons of recyclables out of the landfill. Go online now to learn how and what to recycle to make your two extra pounds per week goal. Denver music fans know how lucky we are to have the world-class concert venue Red Rocks right in our backyard. This season's concert schedule is filling up fast, so check online for when your favorite artists will be playing. Many of the same production pros that bring you the Denver Law Sessions also produce another great show on Denver 8 TV, Red Rocks Premieres. Go online for more information and schedules for both shows, and be sure to check us out on Facebook and YouTube. So whether you're enjoying your favorite music outside at The Rocks, or on your couch with Denver 8 TV, we'll keep you rocking all year long. We're fucking in the air and we are fucking
Hornbuckle is a blues rock soul outfit led by the driven guitar and dynamic vocals of a member of Denver's first family of blues, Michael Hornbuckle. Don't miss them on the next Denver Loft Sessions. Partial funding for this season of the Denver Loft Sessions is provided by Venture Technologies, your local technology solutions provider. Visit them online at ventech.com. <laughs>